we don't want all this long hair and no food. All right, I don't know what I look like because I just put my hair up, so I might look like they do. Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. My name is Lacey. If you're new here, if you're not, then welcome back. What y'all doing? All right, so it's been like a week since I've had a video, and the reason for that is because I tried to film with my camera that I had and um use my laptop to edit it well my laptop would not like export it it said 24 hours for it to export and the laptop kept dying before I could get it you know put up my laptop is on its last leg hello Gracie y'all did a whole cleaning video it was so good it was long it was like the whole trailer and yeah I had to throw it out because I could not sit there for um 24 hours and wait for this thing to export and it wasn't even edited that was the crazy thing it was just i put it all together and i was going to try to transfer it to my phone to edit it and oh uh, i was so frustrated y'all was so upset i really got discouraged i'm not gonna lie so after that i would have filmed another video but i got pretty darn sick it was my allergies um and it turned into like a chest cold or whatever because they're stirring up all the fields around here um getting rid of the peanuts i guess either planting corn or cotton i don't know what they're doing i didn't but have a video after that because i did not feel good all right but what i'm going to share with y'all today is my stuffed mushrooms um i believe one of my sister-in-laws actually made it one time like years ago and ever since then i make them all the time i'm the only one that eats them you know that lives here um so what i do is i make them for lunch usually and i'll eat them throughout the day because they are so good they never make it to the next day as leftovers so it's mushroom stuff with sausage and cream cheese and oh my gosh y'all they're so good like i could literally eat myself to death on these joggers i'm not kidding my mama loves them too but um she's not here to eat them with me today so i'm gonna eat them by myself but yeah i wanted to share them with y'all because i don't really do too many cooking videos um and i feel like i'm always cooking so. all right but yeah let's go ahead and get started y'all ignore these eyelashes i've got some different ones coming today i don't like these but anyways let's pretend like i don't have those on okay all right, so you're gonna need two packs of the whole fresh mushrooms. That's what they look like there. And a pack of sausage. I get mild because I don't really want anything like super spicy or anything. Um, this has a good enough little kick to it. But yeah, so I just get mild. You can use the hot kind if you want. Um, but yeah, I just get the cheapest sausage. And then you're gonna need cream cheese, just one pack. Now this right here, I could literally like eat this plain, which is, I don't know, I love cream cheese. But so yeah, it's only four ingredients and oh my gosh, it makes so much. All right, you need a pan of course, and I'm gonna use my like mixer thing. You don't have to use your mixer, you can like stir them up by like hand or whatever, Um, but I'm just gonna use that. So right, it's got me a clean dishcloth here and I'm gonna keep the bowl that I need Um, for the stems. All right, so I'm gonna rinse these off and save the stems. The stems are gonna go in there and then I'm gonna line them up on here. Um, for them to drain off. So let's do that. I'm washing them off really good. And then you're going to pop the stem out. And still, oh, they're on hot. Oops. Pop the stem out and save the stem. Um, and then I put that there, like that. what to do with this bad boy I guess I'm gonna hey but I don't know what to do with that <laughs> all right so I'm done with the mushrooms like taking the pieces out and you can see I just put them in here go ahead and put them in the mixing bowl and I kind of crunch them up a little bit myself just because I don't want any big pieces in there um you know in a bite but the mixer should do a good job of it too so I'm gonna let the mushrooms drain out while I cook the sausage I like for them to be like really dry on the inside because they did get you know they get wet I'm gonna right. go ahead and cook the sausage and I like to leave this out while I get everything else ready so that this can soften up because if not it gets stuck in the mixer thing and then you're definitely want, gonna want to leave it out um for it to soften up if you're the one like stirring um, and you're not using a mixer because you'll sit there and be 
stirring all day and it'll be a big old clob clod glob I don't know anyways so I am gonna open it and let it soften up okay there's that all right so I got my pan there and I'm heating this up I put it on 350 and it says it takes like eight minutes to warm up oh, guess what Bubba fixed my oven it heats up so now I don't have to use the little air fryer oven to cook everything. Thank the Lord on high. Y'all, y'all, I can't tell y'all how happy I am, really. I have been cooking stuff in this oven the past like three nights. Uh, I might need a bigger pan. Oh well, that's gonna have to work. I may or may not have walked away from the pot for a minute, y'all, and started one watching Unsolved Mysteries, and everything burnt to it. That's all right. All right, so now that I've drained the sausage, I'm gonna put it in this bowl here, the mixing bowl. You're gonna end up combining everything together. So now that you've got the sausage and the stems in there, you're going to Put your cream cheese in there. It's probably easier if you cube it up, but um, that's all right. Okay. All right, so let's lock it. And then I'm just gonna kind of turn it on softly for a second, because if not, everything goes up line. Ah! There we go. Oops. getting caked up around the corner so I'm just gonna push it down just so it really chops up those stem pieces I should have done the like mix the stem pieces up first but I did it it's okay all right so get it where it's good and start up like this just like that y'all this is so good I could eat this like this but I don't think you're supposed to eat raw mushrooms I'm not really sure y'all I did not push the record button whenever I was putting the mixture into the mushrooms here's what they look like all you do is just, try not to flop them over Lacey all right all you do is just put the mixture inside the mushroom like upside down do you does that make sense oh god bless America okay and now I'm gonna put them in the oven on 350 for about 25 minutes I'm so mad that didn't record y'all there's the bottom of the mushroom like it's gonna be like a cup so like put it down like a cup and then start spooning all your stuff in there and just pile it in there, y'all. Oh, I'm so mad. On the middle rack. Oh, let me start my timer because if not, then I'll forget about these bad boys. They'll be in there for like two hours. Is them good old burnt mushrooms. Gracie, what are you sniffing like that for? Anyways, all right. So I'm gonna let those cook and I guess clean up my mess. So they're actually done, but what I'm gonna do is go ahead and broil them for a few minutes just so the top gets crispy. Oh, look at them. Oh yeah, those are done. Huh. Oh. Oh. Still trying not to burn my eyelashes off. Okay. Well. Y'all, these look and smell so good. Oh my gosh. All right, so here's what they look like done. Some of the stuff has come up out of the mushrooms, but that's okay. Y'all have to cook these like tonight with your dinner. I'm not joking. They're so good. So Guys, good. I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. I'm about to go and tear these jokers up. I'm telling y'all they're so good. Um, and there's a very big possibility that I might eat every single one of those by myself. Like in one sitting. Well, not one sitting because I'm going to sit down and get back up and get more. But they are that good. 
So yeah. Anyways, like I said, I hope y'all enjoyed this video and I hope I see y'all in the next one. Toodaloo!